Ms. Renee McManus, you know the Veterans Small Business Enhancement Act was recently passed into law last year, allowing veteran-owned businesses to be eligible for GSA surplus property. Uh, Senator Kennedy and I worked very hard to make sure our veteran-owned businesses have access to the program with help and support from the dedicated staff at SBA. My office has been hearing from veteran-owned small businesses eager to take advantage of this new program. Can you provide details on how implementation will proceed? Specifically, will SBA, in coordination with the GSA, issue general implementing rules before establishing memorandums of agreement with each state agency? Or will SBA and GSA begin to get those MOAs drafted and finalized now? What well, we are, I don't mean that this is not a pejorative statement, no. but what we're waiting on at the moment is for GSA to establish and set the parameters for, for the program. We will then be working with them very closely, and I'd look forward to coming back and talking with you about, here's what we're looking at, what do, how do you think we can improve that? I would really appreciate your input when we're ready to do that. Okay, thank you. Let's hope that it moves along quickly. Yes, I think that's such a great, it's such a great program. Thank you. Um, I've heard from countless small business owners across Illinois that one of their biggest challenges continues to be access to capital and the need for technical assistance from the federal government to help them compete with major corporations. That's why I'm developing legislation that would enhance the SBA microloan program, which helps meet those needs, particularly for women, veteran, and minority-owned small business and low-income entrepreneurs. I think we agree it is an important program, and I was really pleased to see President uh, Trump request increased funding for the program in fiscal year 2019. Can you explain why the administration believes the program is important to the small business community? Well, it's one of our fastest growing loan programs as well. And I think it does, um, the, the, and with the technical assistance and working closely in the communities, I think we are developing more and more of those small businesses. So it's, it's really that connectivity. And I'm, I'm really pleased to see how well it, is, how well it is doing, and we want to continue to focus on it. Great. Thank you. Um, I agree that, you know, that's why. And, and you, you might be interested to know that the average loan is about $17,000 in the microloan program. That goes a long way, doesn't it? It does go a long way. When sometimes people need 500 to start or 1,000 to start. So that's about the average loan. That's fantastic. I, I can't think of um, a better time to enhance the program. And, and my legislation would, my draft legislation would increase microloan intermediaries loan portfolios per year and overall and authorize increased technical assistance funding, just as you mentioned, mm -hmm. the importance of technical assistance. I think this would serve as a continuation of the success what SBA has had with this program. Um, would you support my forthcoming legislative proposal that builds on your progress to further increase intermediaries' loan portfolios so that they can take on more, we can give them more money that they can loan out more loans to more businesses? I, I, would, I would certainly look forward to working with you on that. Thank you. Um, and also the level of technical assistance, increased technical assistance funding as well throughout the country. Um, I really think it's wonderful that, that you are supporting this program and actively um, championing for it. Um, I, I know across Illinois, for example, um, uh, small businesses are 95% of our employers mm -hmm. in our state. Um, and so the vast majority of people in Illinois work for small businesses. And um, should they not be successful, uh, we certainly would not be successful as an economy for a statewide. So thank you. And thank you for thank being you. so available to discuss this. And you bet. You know, two out of three net new jobs in the private sector created by small businesses. Thank you. So that's, we need to take care of them and help them grow. Thank you.